Cancer continues to be a leading cause of death in the U.S. Now imagine it knocking on your door not once, but three times. Well, this is the story of Nan Jenkins, but don't feel sorry for her. She's motivated to help others who are facing similar personal challenges and does what she can to help fight cancer from every angle. And she joins us now. Nan, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Alex. Pleasure to have you here. So, you know, apart from the obvious, what I mentioned, I mean, to have it happen three times is just devastating. How did cancer affect your family? Well, it all started uh, affecting my family about 30 years ago. Both my mom and dad were diagnosed with cancer within about 18 months of each other, and they unfortunately passed away within a couple of years. And so I was 25 and lost both my parents. And uh, fast forward about 20 years, my brother received a diagnosis, and then two and a half years ago, I myself received a diagnosis. So that, along with other you know, members of my family, it's just uh, been prevalent. Right. For literally 30 years. But your reaction was to get up and get involved. So walk us through a little bit of your thought process and why you wanted to really do that and give back. Well, I just felt like I needed, you know, to do something, to do something that made a difference. I've learned from an early age about community service and about giving back. And so uh, having lost both my parents, I, you know, I just wanted to fight back. I, I guess I used my anger, you know, in that particular way. So I sought out the American Cancer Society because I had, um, you know, heard their name and, and knew that they were the leader uh, in, uh, you know, cancer research and uh, providing cancer services. And so in eight, 1989, I started volunteering with them and have been volunteering ever since because it was so important for me if I were going to give my time and give my funds to an organization, I wanted it to be one that I felt attacked from every angle and attacked every kind of cancer and supported you know, every kind of cancer. And for me, that place was the American Cancer Society. Right, well, you've been a caregiver, of course. You've battled it yourself. What are some ways that the American Cancer Society uh, helps with this type of battle? Well, for me personally, when I was diagnosed, I had a lot of questions. I kind of left the doctor's office, you know, uh, with a deer in the headlights. And so I knew because I had been volunteering for so many years to go to the website, which is cancer.org. You could find anything you want to know on that website. You can find questions to ask your doctor. Um, you know, different things you can do to make yourself uh, feel better, just all different kinds of things, how to get involved, how to volunteer, how to donate. It's really what I call stop shop and that's at cancer.org and that's really helped me and also I was able to stay at a Hope Lodge. That's a service that a lot of people don't even realize is funded by the American Cancer Society for patients that are going through treatment. They can stay there free of charge and that was a big help to me. Well the fact is people can do something, they can get involved. You for example have led Relay for Life three times. I don't know how you get the energy. That's incredible. How else would you recommend before I let you go people get involved? Well, again, they can donate. They can, uh, if they're not wanting to do something like a relay, there are many other uh, fundraising opportunities. Or they can, uh, they can drive a cancer patient to treatments through Road to Recovery. And if they go to cancer.org, they'll be able to find out all those options, you know, that are available with the American Cancer Society. Well, we are all in this together, and I think that's a very important reminder. So, Nan Jenkins, thanks so much for your time today. Thanks for having me. Of course. And stay right where you are. We'll be right back.